Welcome back. This is the second of four instructional videos that are meant to teach you how to use the daily office in the Book of Common Prayer for your own prayer routine at home. In the last video, I reviewed the basic structure of morning prayer right to. We'll be adding on to that today by learning how to find the scripture readings to insert into your prayers. To do this, we'll be using the lectionary. A lectionary is simply a schedule of biblical selections, and there are many different types out there. In the Episcopal Church, we use two lectionaries, the Daily Office Lectionary and the Revised Common Lectionary. As the name suggests, the Daily Office Lectionary is the schedule of readings designed for use, especially with morning prayer and evening prayer. The Daily Office Lectionary is a two-year cycle, meaning that if you follow the schedule every day, you'll read most of the Bible over the course of two years. You'll find the Daily Office Lectionary in the back of the Book of Common Prayer, beginning on page 934. Year 1 begins on the first Sunday of Advent, preceding odd-numbered years. Year 2 begins the first Sunday of Advent, preceding even-numbered years. As I am creating this video in the first week of Advent 2020, we are beginning the Year 1 cycle. As you look at the lectionary here, notice that the Year 1 assignments are listed on the left-hand page, and the Year 2 assignments are listed on the right-hand page. For each day of the week, Sunday through Saturday, there will be one or more psalms listed for morning and for evening. Under that, you'll see an Old Testament, New Testament, and Gospel reading. When praying the daily office, you will first insert one or more psalms, as appointed, and then choose one or two of the assigned readings for the day. One way to find these readings each day is to mark the lectionary in the back of your Book of Common Prayer and then find the passages in your Bible accordingly. That process, however, can be a bit challenging and, in my opinion, more than a little bit distracting, so there are easier ways. If you like physical books, you can use the Daily Office book, which has both the Daily Office services and then the reading assignments for each week. All you have to do is advance your bookmarks as you follow along. Or you can use a website or an app. One popular website is missionsaintclair.com. I like the Forward Day by Day app as well as venite.app. Venite allows you to make some of your own choices. Forward Day by Day pretty much makes all the choices for you. So all you have to do is open up your app and you're ready to go. The Sunday lectionary works the same way, but readings are only appointed for Sundays and feast days, and it is a three-year cycle, years A, B, and C. The Sunday lectionary in the back of the Book of Common Prayer is now out of date. The Episcopal Church currently uses the very similar revised common lectionary for Sundays, which is a lectionary shared among many Christian traditions. For these readings, you'll want to find them using a website. I like to use lectionarypage.net, or on the St. Margaret's website, you can also find Preparing for Sunday. That's a subscription that we provide for you that provides not only the readings, but also some commentary to go along with them. Just as there are many ways to pray, there are also many ways to read the Bible. However you do it, my encouragement is simply that you do it. The Daily Office Lectionary and the Sunday Lectionary are both there to help you read and reflect on God's Word on a regular basis, and to do so along with people around the world who are following the same path. These lectionaries are also designed to be integrated into our worship in ways that will help you deepen your understanding of our faith. In the next video, we'll talk about the church calendar and the seasons of the church year, 
and how time shapes our prayers. Please continue to learn with me.